Gavin gonna be one minute late? He could be. I think he'll be on. No, oh, he on. on oh time. my god. <gasps> Incredible. Incredible. There's, there's a zero percent chance of pleasantries ever occurring. <laughs> is what this established. <laughs> Which we've been over before. I don't want to bring up a dead thing, but we haven't spoken. I haven't talked to Gavin in a in a literal month. It's been a hey, month since we talked. Hey, Gavin. Hi. Hi. This is. But you, you? I'm surprised. I'm good. I'm okay. I feel a little bloated, if I'm going to be honest. I cook french fries a little too late to the recording, and I was trying to eat them as quickly as possible because I think we're doing two of these. I also had a disgusting lunch. It was awful. What was your lunch? What did you have? I was was panicking. I had about 20 minutes. I had to whip up some soup, but also I'm feeling a bit uh, drowsy, so I thought, oh, I'll get a coffee. Hot coffee and hot soup, absolutely foul. I wouldn't recommend it. What if you... Okay, hear me out. Combine both. (laughs) Put caffeine <laughs> in the soup. Yeah. Two caffeinated birds, soup? Caffeinated soup. That would have soup. saved me quite a lot of time. Oh, my God. You just didn't... Oh, Andrew. Can we do caffeinated soup? Think Two about things it. What I do don't we, enjoy much. Think, think about this. Oh, my God. You just saved so much time. This this could be Unifarm. I need to, I'm need. i going to get on the phone with the Unifarm HQ because this could <laughs> exist. Uh, What is this? Heat and soup. Yeah, I don't... Whatever that is, I don't care. Uh, Who cares about bone broth? Think about it. What are the That's two already... things you put in thermoses? You put hot coffee in a thermos. You put soup in a thermos. Boom. I like that Eric just sent us a link immediately <laughs> establishing that this is real. And Jeff just wants to ignore it. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Eh, I mean, it's, it's bone broth. Bone broth isn't a soup. It's a, it's a component of a soup. What is bone broth? What is bone broth? <laughs> yeah, like what? what where... <laughs> That's terrible. It, uh, I'll say something that's Andrew would do. No, <laughs> this is would, an audio podcast. It's, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a, somebody put soup in a fucking coffee machine. You put noodles in a kettle. <laughs> I did, but that was <laughs> that was a good it's idea. The same until thing it you did. It's the no, same thing you did. No, there's something much grosser about because there's vegetables. Well, I guess there were no. The vegetables came in later. I don't know. I guarantee you this works. Then they just oh. run hot water through it, and it's fine for sure. I guess the question is, what else do they do? If you're doing that, your line of what you're going to do is not the same as other people. I'm curious what <laughs> other inventions they have. Not inventions, but oh, like cooking man. processes. How are Dude, you doing, Jeff? Uh, I'm good. Oh, let me, let's do this real fast. Okay. Hello and welcome to another episode of the F*** Face podcast. My name is Jeff <laughs> Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Panton and uh, the other one, Gavin Free. Uh, of course, Nick and Eric are somewhere in the in the background there, being quiet and hilarious in their own rights. And we haven't spoken as a trio in exactly a month. Uh, I've spent time with Andrew. We invented a product. We had to stop talking because it was getting too too podcasty. Uh, spent some physical time with Gavin. I'm still sore from it. Uh, I don't know how you feel, <laughs> but uh, we should dive into it. Uh, where do you guys want to start? I want to know why you're sore. What was the physical thing that you two did? Well, was there anything uh, that we had planned a month ago, Andrew? Yeah, but I don't think that's happened yet. The thing I'm thinking of, the baseballs? No, the baseballs happened this weekend. What? Nick what else? is correct. Oh, you guys did the bean hole? Well, we did some of the bean hole. <laughs> <laughs> what does uh, that mean? It means we dug the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done none of the bean hole. You've done it's none not, of the no, hole. just no, dug a hole. Did. Well, we did a very hard part of the bean hole. That's the hole. That's exactly yeah. half of the work. It's in the name. Yeah. I you, can't feel have like be- you can't have bean hole without hole. That's true. But the hole, you can do a lot with that hole. That hole doesn't have to be a bean hole yet. You got options with that hole. Let me just say, before we get into it, fuck that hole. Fuck that <laughs> hole with everything I have. Fuck my backyard. Fuck my back. <laughs> fuck the hammer. <laughs> Fuck the pry bar that was covered in rust. My hand hurts. I got. I just have rust embedded in my fingers today, Gavin. I was making fun of you for whining about not having a glove yesterday, but today it's just like my my fingers are on fire. Fuck the shovel that we bent in half. Fuck the broken wheelbarrow. <laughs> How's Fuck your, the giant uh, cinder block we were trying to use. <laughs> Fuck everything. Wait. How up to date is your tetanus? <laughs> uh, it's up to date. I got a tetanus shot okay. last year. Nice. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Are there any photos of this? I'd love to see your <laughs> broken fucking wheelbarrow and your brick. Like, this is... I don't understand how there isn't better coverage of this event. Oh, there's coverage. There's you coverage? You to see it. You want to see coverage? Oh, I want to see coverage so badly. Did we decide, if I share my screen, can you hear it? 
Was that not a thing? Oh, no, it was absolutely a thing we did, but I don't remember the results of it. There was mm. a problem, I think. I don't think we could. Well, because it was the slow-mo video, right? With uh, Jeff on the bike, the bike trip. Oh, yeah. We tried it then. I don't, it doesn't matter. Whatever. What if I send it to Eric and Eric can figure it out while I do the uh, talking part of face? That sounds great. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, fun, sure. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> I'll say, uh, we, uh, before we get into it any further, uh, I will say we didn't complete the bean hole. I mean, first off, you can't complete it in one day. It's a multi-day thing. But uh, there were a few mitigating factors that made us stop. Uh, one, physical exhaustion. Two, uh, I have to go out of town tomorrow for the day, and I didn't want to leave my yard on fire and be, f be uh, on a road trip. <laughs> That seemed irresponsible, especially I believe there's like Texas has like a permanent burn ban going on at all times. So I just I just didn't want to come home to a pile of rubble or a neighborhood on fire. Uh, <laughs> however, I we haven't talked about this with you yet, Eric, I don't think or Nick, but I think Gavin and I decided after we dug the hole, since we're going to be hitting baseballs all afternoon on Sunday anyway, wouldn't it be great if to to uh, to celebrate all the 350 dingers I hit? Uh, come on, I'm back to Jeff's house, and we can all eat some beans together. Yeah, that sounds so fun. Gavin and I were thinking, <laughs> Andrew, we'll mail you some beans. Great. Uh, Gavin and I were thinking maybe maybe Saturday morning, we'll get up early Saturday morning and pop the beans in the hole and, you know, set shit on fire and stuff. And then uh, and then by the time we finish hitting baseballs 24 hours later, they'll be cooked. I think it's a phenomenal idea. Um, Eric, thoughts? I'm for it. Uh, I can't think of anything more quenching after 350 <laughs> baseballs than beans that have been sitting in your yard for a day. More quenching than coffee and soup, though. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's probably, I'll be honest, probably going to be pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> have you just swung a baseball bat 350 times? Come get these red hot beans. <laughs> you have to do work to get out of the ground <laughs> you know that feeling when you're so tired and dehydrated and hot where it's that feeling that you get rarely where water just tastes so amazing and you just yeah. love every second of it mm -hmm. going down your gullet i cannot imagine that with beans i really don't think we're gonna be able to get the same effect. uh there's no qu there's no thirst quench quite like a bean quench <laughs> So, I'm just trying to understand the mechanics of this. You're going to, so you put the beans in the hole. Once you make the beans, you put them in a pot. Pot goes in the hole. You then have to fill the hole again, correct? Yeah, so what you do so is you put them in a, a cast iron, like a Dutch oven. Then you triple seal it with, uh, with like a uh, saran wrap. Not saran wrap, but tin foil and, uh, or aluminum foil. And then you pour hot coals all over it. And then you <laughs> seal that into the ground and then put a couple feet of dirt on top of it. Okay. So you're going to have to redig the hole after all of this as well. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. And how deep is the hole? How deep is the hole? Uh, Gavin, how deep is the hole? <laughs> he might be measuring it right now. Yeah, I think on. he left the measure. Where did he go? I have no idea. Maybe he's, dink he's getting his dinklage stick. It's <laughs> how, yeah. how many? Yeah. What, how many? What, what would you guess? Are you incapable of guessing how deep the hole is? Uh, I have a pretty good idea how deep the hole is. I was just trying to work. I was trying to work Gavin into it for a reason. I'll show you here in a second. Okay. Uh, I was trying to work Gavin into it because of what's going on in this photo that I'm posting to the Discord right now. What am I looking at? You're looking at a guy with a, a <laughs> gas-powered leaf blower five feet from me, blowing leaves in my backyard that I didn't <laughs> know my girlfriend scheduled somehow during the podcast. So oh, I was trying shit. not to. I was trying not to talk for a second. <laughs> Gavin, are you here? Uh, uh, ooh. Ooh. Is somebody printing the law? Is every... <laughs> are you okay? Well, I've just realized this computer's been on for, well, a month without being used. And it's really, <laughs> it's really struggling to open Slack. I'm trying to, I'm trying oh. to Slack you. Oh! I'm trying to Slack Eric this uh, link to the dig, the whole video, and it's just... It sort of loads a new piece, and then I can't hear anything for a minute, and then it loads a little bit more. <laughs> Welcome to my world! This is great! Uh, is you, it fun? Have you Andrewed my computer while I've been away, Andrew? I think you've just done it by being away. I can't take credit for that. Okay. I, well, I, uh, I, I'd say the hole's two feet deep. What do you think, guys? That's it! All of that fucking... Every, all of that <laughs> two feet? You dig a hole! Two feet? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I told Gavin in the moment when I was between breaths. 
Uh, every scene in every movie where somebody gets murdered or accidentally hit by a car and they have to cover it up by digging a, a real grave to put the body in, in the woods at night, like lit by a car, is bullshit. It is impossible to dig a human-sized hole. Fuck you, every director in the history of film who has put that into a movie. You're a fucking liar who's never dug a fucking hole in your fucking life. That's what I'll say. I'll also say this, too, because there, my entire house... Sorry, Gavin, I don't mean to cut you off, but my entire house is built on rock. I, I guarantee you... <laughs> more murders go solved in Texas because of the ground than any other state. <laughs> Two feet. Wait, Gavin, go ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, in films, I feel like it would be really easy to get an accurate representation because, you know, the actor stood next to the hole they've just, in quotes, dug. I probably actually stood next to just two people from the art department who actually just dug the hole. So just mimic what they're doing and you'd have an accurate representation. They have tools. <laughs> What tools do you, can, wait, can we recap what you had for your two foot hole? <laughs> what what well, tools? Well, why didn't you, you watch the video? I'd love to watch the video. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna see if this works. Oh boy, it's only about uh, a minute. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna notify. We have. Okay, we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. Can everyone <laughs> everyone see feet? Uh, okay. hold on. Yeah. Okay. You swap over. Oh, yep. I can see feet. Yeah. Watch stream. Okay, here it comes. This will be on our YouTube page. Or- <laughs> <laughs> the well prepared tool of a hammer. movie where like everything like a comedy heist film where literally everything goes wrong that was amazing <laughs> that was a uh, an hour cut down to about a minute i was about to say what do you have about 60 minutes of footage there oh yeah i had at least 50 something minutes <laughs> can, uh, can i can i ask a question yeah, yeah. Uh, why did you try to dig through the rock yeah why not Instead just of another hole, you like you, around, <laughs> like around it. We were having trouble digging around it. We didn't know how big it was, so then we thought, <laughs> "What if we split it in half and then just dig it up in pieces?" Oh, what? It's the like the worst. Like you're fucking Andy Dufresne trying to get through a rock. Like why? Well, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, we didn't have any spoons. Did you not? <laughs> we also didn't have either of you two idiots there helping us. <laughs> oh, I would have just said, "Let's dig a different hole." We're three you, shovels. Dude. We're three <laughs> shovels into this rock. <laughs> what? Here, man. We didn't. It, it was a while before we realized. Yeah. In in retrospect, should we the second we hit that rock, have stopped? Of course, we should have gone to a different spot of the yard. <laughs> Although I, I got to be honest with you, there were at least three rocks that size in the vicinity of that, because we touched them all. I have no, uh, uh, I'm pretty certain that there's a rock every six inches like that in my yard. So it, it wouldn't have mattered. We would have just had a bunch of third dug holes yeah, all over the Yeah, the whole yard. place is like natural bean hole prevention. Yeah. I just, God there, there was damn. not even an, like I understand what you're saying, but the fact that there wasn't even an attempt at a hole too is what is wild to me. Not that you're not right, like you could be totally right, but I don't understand being married to that hole. Do you know why we found the second rock? When I go, there's another rock here, or the third rock. <laughs> it's it's because we decided to shift the hole over away from the second rock. And as we did that, <laughs> like the hole, you don't notice it, but it gets bigger at the end because we did essentially what you're saying, Andrew. We we, we, we stretched the hole out to the right and hit another <laughs> fucking rock. <laughs> you're, just, you're just making that hole wider. That's not a different hole. You're just extending your, your base hole. I'd move to a completely different part of the yard. It would be the same result, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. I'm pretty sure. 
Based on the video I just saw, I don't think you're an expert in this field <laughs> in any way. There's zero opinion you could just have without trying that I would believe based on your expertise. Well, here's what we're going to have to do uh, to, so that I can respect your opinion on holes. We're going to need you to turn in a video of you digging a hole, showing us how it's done. Maybe do like a Bob Vila, you know, uh, like home improvement style I love video this idea. explaining how to properly dig a hole as Canadians do. If uh, listen, it has to be in your yard, first of all, because it's every terrain is different. So if we're like really comparing, if, if we're trying to make my point accurate, it's that you could have dug a much easier, better hole with a lot less effort. So it'd have to be in your yard. It's a, it is challenging in a million ways. I think by the time we've done the actual bean hole and eaten the beans, it, it'll be enough for like a full half an hour episode on our YouTube channel of just the <laughs> bean hole experience. Because there's so much footage. I can't wait. Put the beans yet. I can't wait for another food review where I just watch you guys all eat and talk about how good the food is. That's going to be great. A follow up. That's our whole, that's the gimmick. Well, as we know, oh. you will not set foot in the U.S. until after June. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and if you did come to the U.S. in June, it wouldn't be Vegas, that's for sure. <laughs> not till the fall. That was, that supplemental was great. And it's hard to believe that there's 20 minutes before. <laughs> I think just like, I don't know if sometimes people miss them. We, we release supplemental content sometimes, and it's generally on our feed. I think it, it almost always is. But if you always. haven't listened to it... There is a supplemental that is just titled Eric's Job, I believe, of just us trying to schedule the block of episodes we had to do as well as something in the future. And it's that was 45 minutes long. I need you. I just need to I, I need to share this. I saw Jeff yesterday before he dug a hole for beans. <laughs> yeah. And then he <laughs> asked why we scheduled so much in one week. Like he wasn't in the recording <laughs> we and then we the released recording. the thing we where we all agreed when it would be scheduled. We <laughs> scheduled two f faces, a bean hole, MVP <laughs> two watch along and baseballs all in seven days. And we're going to do all of it. But one when it's all said and done, we you almost canceled bean hole, but we, uh, I tried we did man. half of it. Yeah, I, I was just happy that all of my stuff worked out i got back in time i was available for all of those super in the future calendar invites and uh that it was gonna be jeff in the end who was gonna cancel it <laughs> i i did have to cancel the mvp too i apologize yeah. for that i will accept all the blame for that one but i am i am devoting my entire weekend to beans and baseballs and uh so <laughs> i feel like there's redemption in that alone jeff felt so bad about canceling mvp2 on friday he texted me personally about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like no, out of character. Extended, <laughs> yes, it's. A, I'm excited. We'll eventually watch it. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll do it next week. Okay. I I watched the first one because you said in passing, Gavin. I feel like you were joking that I need to record like a recap for you guys to get into part two to know where the story's going. I wanted you to edit the movie down into like yeah. a summary. Oh, there's yeah, well, this one I'm doing with my recording. I took notes. I watched it with oh, notes. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to record a three minute version of MVP. That was not a throwaway comment. That is, uh, that's a necessity. What's happening? Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I love to shop online. It's essentially the only way I do shop. I hate going into stores, but when I shop online, I never have a promo code ready. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. How it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I personally use Honey all the time. It's fantastic. It's so easy to use. It allows you to save money times where you don't even expect it. I recently bought some clothes, and I saved money on that. It's a great service. Honey doesn't just work on desktop. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. So thank you very much. I never recommend something I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com face. That's joinhoney.com face. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships take work. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. 
We go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? Investing in yourself is super important. It's a thing that I have struggled with at times. I've found different ways to do it. Games, video games have been really helpful. Movies. There's a place where I used to live. I used to go walk there. Just walks can be great to clear your head. But this month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. Whether it's hitting the gym, making time for your haircut, or even trying therapy, you are your greatest asset. So invest the time and effort into yourself like you do for other people. I've talked about this every time with this ad as well. If you're somebody who is on the fence or considering therapy, I would highly recommend you try it. It was something that was very helpful for me. It was something that I was reluctant to do initially, but I I did it and I, I found it to be incredibly helpful and sorting through things that I didn't necessarily even realize I needed to sort through. So if it's something that you're opening or considering, please give it a try. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's a much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. The podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and face listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com face. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Thank you. You like podcasts? Did you know there's a podcast festival at RTX Austin this year? Podcasts of all kinds will be going to Austin, Texas, July 1st through 3rd to do live recordings of their shows, and you could be there. Add some fun to your summer plans. Come see your favorite podcasts in person and discover new favorites at RTX Austin. RTX Austin takes the best in podcasting, gaming, and animation and brings it all to Austin, Texas for one unforgettable weekend. Head on over to bit.ly slash RTX Austin 22 to grab your badge for RTX Austin and get ready for a weekend filled with the best of podcasting, gaming, and animation. That's bit.ly slash RTX Austin 22 to get your badge today. See you in Austin July 1st through 3rd. And we were speaking about about childhood. We should talk about the Donkey Kong 64 bet because we haven't actually talked about the conclusion. (laughs) Oh, yeah. What are we? What are all the dangling comedic threads we have to we have to pull and wrap up here? We have the that bet for sure. Anything else out there? Well, uh, I, I also want an update on uh, Andrew's mum's butt plugs. Okay, oh, I do have yeah. an update on that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Survey update. Uh, the, the survey is continuing to happen. Every once in a while, we'll be talking, and then she'll just be like, "Yeah, I asked this person." Uh, <laughs> and they do. I will say it's been a roll of do not know what it is. It's been quite the chain. I think the last four people haven't heard of butt plugs I, and it, are these the last four people are they all ar- around your mom's age like in her uh, friend group yes. still yeah they're all all around the same age i think there is generational butt plug blindness you think so yeah <laughs> funny enough that's what butt plugs originally were supposed to cure was blindness so it's a real <laughs> it wrapped around it's a real medical cure that's the funniest joke you've ever said oh that's good that's good Um, so donkey kong donkey kong donkey kong so donkey kong was a journey so just to recap what the bet was it's going to be very weird for people because this will just be like nothing's ever changed and we haven't spoken in a month um and what was i had 48 hours right to beat all of donkey kong was it 44 and i could ask for four more hours within the first six or some bullshit i feel like i got tricked I'm just going to say yeah, that before I agree. you continue. I feel like no, I got bollocks. This totally Let me talk about how big of a fucking asshole Gavin is for a minute. Just let me pivot to this. So I start Whoa. I start Jeez. the stream. I had, I was furious with you. And it's not your fault. <laughs> it was bad timing. Not a real comment. I started the stream. And I don't know if you remember this, Gavin, but apparently there is no gameplay audio. When I streamed to you as just Andrew the Donkey Kong guy. I could have swore there was. <laughs> but I didn't change anything. And there was no game audio at the start of the stream. So I get ready to go. I, we've been talking about it. I launch at midnight on Saturday. I'm going to play. Nobody can hear anything. I have no idea what's wrong. I didn't realize this would be an issue. Everything's broken. I'm trying to figure it out. It takes me 50 or so minutes to figure out why it's not working. I have to download an application for it. Apparently, streaming game audio through OBS is a nightmare. So I had to install all these plugins. So then I eventually, I get the game audio going. That's working. But I've burnt my first hour. So I don't even start Donkey <laughs> Kong until 1 a.m. So then I start playing, and we're playing for, it's going well. I'm playing through the game. And uh, the audio stops working once again. 
And I was like, ah, that's a, that's an annoying thing. And I'm checking through my settings. It's not OBS. It's specifically with the emulator I'm using and I can't do anything to fix it. So I thought, I'll, you know what? I'll, this is, I'd want this to be the best experience possible for the people. I'll save my game and I'll reboot my emulator and then we'll go back to it. They'll have audio. So I do all that and it doesn't remember my save file. So I played for one hour, first hour, 12 to one technical difficulties, play for an hour, one to two, the audio breaks. I lose my save file. I'm back at the beginning in that window of time in which I had reset the game. I've been trying to play for two hours at this point. I take the stream offline for like three minutes to reboot it. And Gavin texts me, hey, where's my stream? You told me you'd be <laughs> streaming this. Where is it? And I'm like, you motherfucker. I'm resetting it for a minute. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose all my progress. Go fuck yourself. That's where my stream is. If so only uh, this had happened before and we warned you about this shitty emulator setup. Yeah. And, uh, and what, you just decided it would be fine this time? Well, I think what you told us was this is the easiest solution and I've already done it and I know it works. To be fair, okay, so there, there was, I, I think there is a way to save. I just don't know how to do it. I had changed the emulator I was using. Control then, S. Uh, previously, and I, I think there is a <laughs> control. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I just can't, I don't know. I need to figure that out. So anyway, that increases the risk for me because if at any point my emulator crashes, my computer, like the power goes off for a minute, if my emulator goes down, I lose all of my progress no matter where I'm at. I cannot save. I need to keep everything going. So I played, I think, from 2 a.m. until 8 a.m., fell asleep, woke up two hours later, and didn't sleep again the rest of the way. It took me 29 <laughs> hours to beat Donkey Kong 64. I think I played like 26 of those 29 hours. Uh, it was a grind. 26 hours to beat it. That was not the quoted time that you said. No, it was. So what I realized is the game fucking sucks. I already knew that. It's a terrible <laughs> game. In the middle of this experience, I had the realization that I don't think I've hated anybody's childhood more than Gavin's. Between the tuxedo <laughs> and Donkey Kong 64, uh, your childhood was atrocious as far as entertainment. You can't, you, they're not together. Like, I didn't like the tuxedo, but I loved Donkey Kong 64. But it's all part of your childhood. Everything, <laughs> okay, we keep dabbling into your childhood and everything about it stinks. It's, it's not true. fun. It's um, true. The game is atrocious, so how it works is you need bananas, you need golden bananas to open doors, and then you need a certain number of level bananas that are different colors for each character to fight the boss of the level. So I just, once I had enough golden bananas, which I was able to do in the first two or three levels, I just sped run through the game collecting the bananas to fight the bosses. So there are like the last three levels I didn't even really play, I was just collecting bananas to get there, and it was just painful. By the end of it, I think 80% of the way through, I lost game audio again. <laughs> People are like, where's the audio? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I cannot, I can't risk this because it is one of the worst games I've played in a really long time. It is painfully bad. It's tedious. It's just terrible. I cannot afford, my soul does not have another reset in me 75% of the way through. So it's like trying to land a, a plane that is duct taped together. I was so worried that the, like the first sign of the emulator crashing was going to be that the audio goes out. Then I got stuck on a boss that requires audio cues, so that was fun <laughs> for like 50 minutes. I figured that out eventually. Is that the cannon into the thing? The cardboard cutout? Yeah, one? it's the cardboard cutout boss. Luckily, there's a pattern that is also visual, but all of the guides are like, yeah, just listen for this sound. And then I was like, you're fucking, this is, I might be stuck here. I might not be able to do this. I have no audio. Uh, I get through that. It is now 5 a.m. Elden Ring is a really popular game right now. I feel like the creator of those Dark Souls games was a big Donkey Kong 64 fan because the final boss is such bullshit. It is horrendous. It's a cool, it's a He's cool backdrop. I, uh, I wouldn't know because I've never, I never got to that as a kid and I've never beaten the game, but I've seen videos and uh, it's a five round fight <laughs> made up of smaller rounds. And if you lose at any point, you have to start the entire fight again. You basically have to Oof. play as Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Tiny Kong, and if you lose then, you're all the way back to Donkey Kong. And, yeah. Uh, it is a lot of staying alive to get to that point. So it's, it's five rounds you have to play as each Kong. If you die at any point, there's no checkpoint. You have to go back to the beginning. It probably is like a 10 to 15 minute boss fight. 
in its entirety. So doing this at like 5 a.m., I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so sick of these fucking Kongs. I'm having to restart over and over. It was so bad, Gavin texted me like, this is, this is bad. This is terrible. <laughs> um, but I got through it. I beat it Sunday. I think it was like 5 a.m. my time. And I won the bet. Undefeated in gaming related bets. <laughs> yeah. Pretty very, very specific caveat. This is where I was uh, watching it from. <laughs> that is. Oh. Were you on your way to England? Yep. I was watching it from my living room. It was pretty. That was pretty me cozy. landing at Heathrow and I just whipped it on. Dude, that's awesome. It's the things that break your. So, as Gavin said, the reason in the past, he never beat it because you have to replay three levels of the original Donkey Kong in a row to get a coin that you need to progress through the story. And it sucks. It's a difficult game to play. He can never finish it. And it, it took me a while. It took me, I want to say, 80 minutes or so to beat this thing. And it was very stressful. And I'm so excited. I was like, yeah, I fucking did it. Like, finally, like, this is one of the hurdles to get through. One of the toughest parts of this thing. They make you do it twice. You have to do it twice in a row. I forgot about that. <laughs> it was so deflating to do it and get essentially nothing for it and then immediately just be like, yeah, do it again. Just do it again. For no reason. Yeah, it's pretty sadistic game design. It fucking sucks. How long did it take you to do the final boss? Uh, the final boss took me probably an hour. How many times do you think you died in the process? Uh, Probably like five or six, I'd oh, say. Okay. It was... I think in a different, it's the fear of my emulator resetting everything. As yeah. I got further into the game, that part of it became more stressful. So it's 5 a.m., I'm stressed, and just trying to get through that was a nightmare. We really tried to steer you away from putting yourself in that situation, but you were adamant about it. You were, yeah. No, it's, that was, I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody for that part of it. That's my fuck up. But it was fun to do overall. My only problem with this stream and the previous Halo ones that you guys have done is I love to get in and watch them. And I watched way more of this one than I commented on because anytime I get in the chat and try to talk to people, uh, they just accuse me of not being me. And then I have to jump through hoops to try to convince people that I am me. And I just give up. I'm tired of it. I'm just going to come up with, I'm just going to go in as a different name. It's just like, I can't ever have a conversation without getting yelled at by 30 people to stop pretending to be me. I'm the same way. I think, uh, who was it that banned me from their Twitch chat? It's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> Someone we worked with. <laughs> I don't I remember, remember what it was. It was uh, maybe it was it was like years ago, a Reddit post or something where I was posting as me and they didn't believe it was me, so I had to take a photo of myself holding like what day it was. It was this Ugh. insane verification pro it felt like a hostage situation. <laughs> it was absurd. And it was just for some nonsense take that had like zero relevance to anything. It's just bullshit. But, yeah, th that was fun. So I won the bet. You need to wear 64 pieces of clothing on an RT ah, podcast shit. at some point. I get to pick one of those pieces of clothing. I'm going to be, I kind of have an idea right now, but I'll, I'll talk to Jeff about it. I'd love to get his opinion on it. So find th this is actually great because I have been on the RT podcast twice this week. Uh, because th this week wasn't busy enough, so I said, fuck it, I'll go on some other people's podcasts too. Uh, so I had to do the RT podcast twice this week, and both times, because it was different casts, people have said, so Gavin, he doesn't come on the RT podcast anymore? And I got to go, well, I know he'll be on at least once more. <laughs> I can guarantee that. <laughs> Very accurate. Well, shit. Um, hmm. It's going to be a sweaty one. I believe as soon as I won, Gavin immediately texted me, I need to buy some ties. So <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> we'll figure that out, though. I have an idea. I'd like to hear your thoughts, though, Jeff. And uh, at some point, at some point, Gavin will be wearing 64 pieces of clothing. That's very exciting. <sighs> a socks two or, or one? Uh, what do you mean? Like, is a pair one or does uh, two socks no, count sock, as two items? So no, one sock is a sock. So if you have a pair of socks, it's two socks. I yeah. Do. Yeah. Wow. Generous. Eric Maybe just disagrees. I think, I think it's that's just, fair. I think that's like I'd be breaking what a sock is. Like it's just I'd, I'd be changing the definition at that point. Eric, why do you have such a problem with that? Because it's a pair of socks. Because you don't wear. You don't yeah, but they say pants. they say pair of pants, too. OK. Yeah. Like if I if I put on one glove, am I wearing half of clothes? Right. But t but you don't typically you could typically wear one glove. You can wear one glove doing something. Typically two socks are worn. OK, I so a pair that, of socks I is think, one, listen, but a pair of gloves is two. What if you've only it. got one leg? 
for 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 a podcast that's so hung up on regulation, I think it's very strange to draw the line where the two socks are individual things instead of one, especially after we sold socks and we had to sell them together. So I don't understand what the issue. I, to me, it doesn't make but sense. But if you buy a Nick's pair of socks, points. it's two socks. Yeah, Nick says, isn't a pair two things? Yeah. Right, yes. But it, but uh, again, typically when things are regulation worn, it's two socks or one <laughs> item. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 like, I, I, get, I, I understand what you're I have no dog in this fight. <laughs> I have no I, problem acquiescing to yeah. this. That's what, what do I what do I care? See, I don't have to wear all the things. That's fine. I'm just saying that that's how it feels to me. I feel like I'm talking to me. Like this is the reverse. Like I'm on the other <laughs> yeah, side for kinda, once of one of these things. You so know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I gotta what you're say, saying, but I don't know why. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> I just I, Eric's Eric's argument is persuasive. I think is I might all? be on Eric's side. Now. I don't think I, think I might be on just, Eric's side now. Yeah, how often are you walking around with one sock? That's my thing. I don't That's think the that thing matters. You, you can't go so- up to someone and say, hey, throw me that socks. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say, Gavin? What would be the appropriate? Have you ever like asked anyone? Those socks, pl- plural, or that socks? I singular. feel like no matter like no matter what word you use, that's but, still a weird sentence to say to you somebody. Are, <laughs> you're getting hung up on the thing that you're not wearing. I am hung up on the thing that you are wearing, yeah. where it is two socks are typically counted like they're one item. A pair a pair of socks is like what you don't typically wear one sock. That's what I'm saying. Again, <laughs> they can be individual. One yeah. sock can be one sock. I'm I, I say go for it. I'm just I'm saying that in terms of an outfit, it just it's strange to me. That's I think I mean. you're completely right. But I think by definition, if somebody was like <laughs> If, if are you Gavin, agreeing with me and then telling me that? No, so I'm agreeing with I'm agreeing with the point you're saying, but I'm disagreeing with its use in this context. I'm agreeing with what you're saying in the sense of like a, if someone buys a, a sock is like two socks is sold as an individual item. It's one, but in the context of if Gavin were to put one sock on, we wouldn't mm-hmm. we wouldn't consider that a half an item. I'll say this, Andrew. That was spoken like a true internet lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you are you still certified up on the website? Oh, I'm still getting updates all the time for higher judge. I get like two a week. <laughs> That's such a throwback. <laughs> was that over a year ago? Plus, it's really easy to get in. It's deep lore, Gavin. I, deep lore. I think Eric is more like Andrew than he was when we started Face. I think Andrew is rubbed off on him. I definitely think that there's I think that I lean into it in this show because regulation is so important <laughs> for this show, for for Face Jam or any other show. Who cares for this show? Regulation is apparently the most important <laughs> thing in the fucking world. So I, I'm just trying to figure out what the regulation sock is. You know what, Eric? I, I, I agree with you. I think that's correct. I think regulation is the most important thing in this show. I think regulation is a sock. Eric, would you be able to arrange me a fan for whenever we do that podcast? You want you want like somebody to come and cheer you on, or you want yeah. something to blow air at you? Probably the air thing. Okay, would be more right. useful. Yeah. yeah, I'll see what. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you one of those little ones, like you know, like the little fan that you hold and like you sip like a drink, like a hand like fan. An yeah, like a hand, like takes a triple A battery type yeah. fan. <laughs> Very oh, effective. you're talking about like a paper fan. <laughs> I think socks count. I don't think something. I think this the clothing has to be surface level. Like it has to appear. The like you couldn't wear like twenty mean? pairs of underwear. That what if you wore count. them over your pants? Then that's allowed as long as it's a building up and not down. I can't wear twenty underwear. Well, as long as they're in front of the pants, I think is the regulation. Well, does the does the initial <laughs> pair of under the initial pair of underwear count? The though, initial right? like pair like, counts like, as like one. underwear Absolutely. count, pants count, Absolutely. and then anything over pants counts. Okay, cool, cool. Do they? But, make if, but you can't gloves? go underwear, 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 pants, Gavin. Which maybe you normally right. do, and if you do, I would un- I would understand because if I had the same body issues you do, but uh, but they won't count in this sense. Yeah, I don't think I've done that since I had food poisoning that one time. <laughs> <laughs> God, I had food poisoning. They make gloves for individual fingers. <laughs> Why would oh. they make that? Unless it's like one of those shitty, like, oh, look at how wacky I am. I got finger gloves. You know what? If you start talking individual finger gloves, I'm definitely going over to Eric's side. Cut that shit <laughs> off. Look, it's a bet against Andrew. I have to loophole this somehow. I've got to do what he would do. 
That's true. I, that's a good point. I don't know. 64 if that's... paper crowns from Christmas crackers. <laughs> you couldn't fit 64 crowns on your head. Hmm. Seems like a challenge. There's a zero percent. I couldn't fit one on my head. It's a nightmare. The Christmas <laughs> cracker crown head is way too big for that. <sighs> I'm going to text you the thing that I was thinking of, Jeff, and I'll just get your immediate live reaction on the podcast. Uh, I'll, next time. Well, I guess we're recording two. So next week or whenever we record again, not ne- next episode. We'll lock it in. I'll find okay. something that we could definitively share. But this is sort of where my head's at. Just the, the top part of what I just sent you. It's my initial thought. Oh, uh, pulling it up right now. And I guess you should probably oh, see. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I'm, yes. Okay. Excellent. 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 I, I, I'm glad you're going in this direction. Okay. Oh, man. That's <laughs> yeah. not good for me. That's, I, I had that thought at some point. And yeah, this is, you're brilliant. This is great. That's great. really, really great. Awesome. Fantastic. When do I find out? Uh, About next 10 week. minutes before the podcast, probably. <sighs> Next week, we'll, we'll do it. I have, if we want to talk about deep lore, I have an update. I had something happen in my life that, that connects all the way back to the first episode of this podcast. Oh. Real reach. I got my hair cut. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I haven't got my hair cut since December of 2019. I got my hair cut. It was Wait, a process. So this whole time you've had really long hair? Yeah, it's gotten progressively longer with this show. I haven't had a single haircut because Are I was waiting. Are you serious? Yeah. Are there photos? What? No. No photos. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that, means, that means I haven't seen you since we started <laughs> Face. Oh, way I've before then. Seen, uh, yeah, I know. But I know in real life. But I, I haven't even seen you like, on video or on a picture the entire time we've had this podcast. Oh, no. It's, my hair was like between my shoulder blades. It was long. I've been was- picturing you all wrong this whole time. It's Same. my my hair got to what the final straw was us having issues where I'd go to like bring my neck up like I'd go to lift my head and I wouldn't realize my hair was trapped behind my back and I'd whip my head back into the pillow. <laughs> I was giving myself whiplash. I was like, I'm fucking I hate everything about this. I'm done. Ooh. But it's, as as we start stated in the first episode, my guy was in a retirement home, which yeah. has been very difficult to get into <laughs> during the pandemic. It's been a very restrictive part. But unfortunately for me, uh, he retired. So I had to get a new guy. Did he go out to a farm out west with lots of space to run around in? <laughs> he did. <laughs> I think he actually just moved upstairs. I think since he was already there, he just took a, took a place uh, uh. On the, in the building. But I got, I got my hair cut, and I went completely the other way. I went from a retirement home to a place that has like graffiti art on the walls and skateboards, and it's the vibe is, couldn't be further from the other thing. It was great. I think the vibe of the retirement home is closer to your personal vibe. You think so? <laughs> all, the, all the people magazines and royalty shit on the thing. People cooking noodles in their kettles. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I had that happen and it feels great to have short hair. Again, I hated. It's blown my mind. I really can't believe that every time I've been listening to you on face, you've had long hair. Oh, it's been so my, long. Blew my he, mind. Not only has he had long hair, I bet he's had luscious locks. I bet he's like swung it out of his eyes suggestively a few times when he laughed oh, in the podcast. We had no is idea. Is it really curly? Uh, it, was, it was sort of curly, yeah. It was just, it was very long and uh, annoying. I hated looking down. It made looking down an annoyance. It was terrible. Um, yeah, I hated it too. I did it as well for a bit. Yeah. I didn't wait f- an extra year though like you did. And it's just, it's not good. So I have a new guy. I bet you look like Glenn Danzig with long hair. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, yeah. Anyway, how's your new guy? New guy's great, but on the way, on the way, I was like walking around because I got there too early. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to kill some time. So I was looking at the different stores and I walked past this sign for this bagel place called My Hubby's Bagels. And I had like a cute little logo and I was like, oh, a nice, like a local, a new bagel place going in. This could be great. I thought it seemed really cute. I was excited about, about the bagel place. Uh, Jeff just posted. <laughs> <laughs> that actually isn't all that far off. You're actually pretty, that's pretty accurate. You're right. It did look very much like that. Um, that's quite the forehead. It is. That's a fantastic forehead. But um, I was walking around. I found that in my <laughs> hubby's bagel place. And it seemed really cute. And so when I came home, I was looking at it on Twitter or whatever. And I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. 
Uh, I, I would like updates on this place because I like to get bagels from them whenever they yeah. open. It just seems like a sweet local place. So I followed them. I didn't think much of it. I was telling, uh, I told like some of my, my friends about it. I was like, oh, I encountered this cute bagel place. And then like three or four days pass and somebody, somebody said to me, oh, so you followed the bagel place on Twitter. And I was like, what? Well, that's a weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. But like, why, why are you bringing this up three days later? Um, what ended up happening was uh, I accidentally followed the bagel place on the FacePod Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know I signed in as that because Twitter's great. You can have multiple accounts. So you can just swap between the two. I was signed in on the <laughs> FacePod Twitter account and somebody commented to the Twitter account. Why do you follow six people? And one of them is my <laughs> hobby's bagels. <laughs> So if you look, if you look at our Twitter account, it's like, it's myself, <laughs> Eric, Jeff, Gavin, like the Rooster Teeth store, maybe it's like one other, it's a company thing. And then just my hubby's bagels. They have 23 followers and one of them is Facebook. <laughs> well, you got to leave that on there forever. forever. Oh, I can't take it off. I can't take it off. The reply was to the person, you like what you like as to why we follow <laughs> That's amazing. Do they sell so, t-shirts? I don't. Th they're not even open yet. They're just these. I don't, like, I don't think that ever works, like putting your Twitter handle on your store. Like who, who I was I'm thinking like who actually ever goes and follows those. But you do. You're one of those people. Well, it's just I would like to know when they open. So it just seemed oh. convenient. Like, I don't know. I'm not like going to be in that area all that often. So I was like, this will be, this will be great. I'll be able to oh, just check this out whenever I want You were hoping to. for a future of uh, haircuts and bagels as like a package. Yeah, thing. like a one, two, like a <laughs> yeah. one, two, get some bagels going, get my haircut. But it's just, it was so funny. I was so, I felt so dumb that I followed and I can't <laughs> wait for their perspective. They haven't followed back to my knowledge, <laughs> um, but we can hope. That's such an exclusive <laughs> slot. They have no idea. <laughs> Dude, the, I just posted their website. Be bagels look good. They're going to they be more info good. posted soon. Yeah. They look great. It just seemed like a, a cute, like, gay couple. What they're, if? They're bagel shop. It's great. What if we're a bagel podcast now? I'm absolutely a bagel guy. So it would make sense, well, I, I think, feel. Uh, this is what we should do. when, As soon as we come to see you, Andrew, maybe that's where we'll have our first breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to buy up these bagels. Yeah, that's a great idea. Before we go crabbing, we'll go. We'll eat bagels. I wanted everything bagel. Mm. I think those are raisins, Eric. That Eric, is too many that raisins. Like, why would you have so many raisins with a with a baked good? Well, that's a that's lot a, of. There's raisins. a raisin bagel there. I think it's a Bre raisin bagel. I think it's like a style. It's, it's supposed to be like a look at these raisins. Like these are the ingredients, not like yeah. have 150 like, raisins. No, <laughs> it's more like fresh ingredients, right? I assume oh, okay. so. I think they're trying to be like, this is the vibe. These are the fresh raisins. These are because the they also they also put the cream cheese. Well, fucking first off, fuck cream cheese, right? They put the cream cheese <laughs> in a glass container. Like who the fuck does that? Also, fuck glass. But that's a whole conversation for later. <laughs> fuck glass. Oh, fuck also, glass. That'll be next episode. Be, fuck glass. It seems so fucking done with pile glass. of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna eat that much cinnamon unless they're doing a TikTok challenge. So you have a problem with glass next episode. Man, fuck glass. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. We got too much other stuff to talk about. <laughs> Fucking glass. I'm just sick of it. <sighs> how, was, anyway. how was Europe? Gavin, how was that? Oh, it, was, it was good. Good times. Saw some, uh, saw some family. I, I, when I got back, I actually went to, um, I went to Tumble 22. Nice little chicken place. Uh, it's uh, Nashville hot chicken, if you're wondering. It's just delicious. Yeah, and the, and the waitress there was, uh, she mentioned that she was listening to F Face. And I realized it, my favorite thing in the world is when someone who is currently working has to say that they like a <laughs> podcast called F Face. It just sounds so funny in like in a professional environment. Like, oh, can I get these out of your way? Do you want this thing? It's like, by the way, really love F Face. <laughs> like people around <laughs> listening. <laughs> it's so good. And it wasn't like a, just a generic like, oh, it's a good podcast. It was... She was literally like right up to date. She was complaining about how terrible your list was, Andrew, of 20,000 things. And I was, like, <laughs> I was like, damn, that's like the most recent one to come out. She's really up to date. She told it's Gavin awesome. he salad creamed the list. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, and then we were talking, Jeff and I were talking about how it's so fun that we have like our own little language almost amongst the the listeners. Yeah, like the like the the I would love to see like a f face dictionary with all the f face verbs. <laughs> like f face. <laughs> Salad cream. Uh I wonder I wonder what bagel will be a verb for someday. Post the photos of it in the chat of they have 23 followers and us and the second one is what who f face fun fun. <laughs> Followed by face. <laughs> oh, oh, we've got to go there. We've got to go add it to the list of the immensely long list of things we've got to do. And we we've got to go there. Oh my god, oh. we have to spend more than a week there. <laughs> Woo. I feel like Andrew, you're secretly dreading us eventually showing up um, in your hometown. I think you're gonna hate it. Do you like? Why do you think that? Do you think I think that, or I, do you think I will end up hating it? No, I don't think I don't think you should hate it. I just think you're you're dreading that moment. I get the same when impression. we're actually nearby you. Really? Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. It's the opposite because I feel I'm gonna get validated first of all about my door situation. That'll be the first thing. <laughs> no, that's not I happen. feel it's gonna be a very validating trip for me because I think you're gonna be on board with that. Then you're gonna actually go into my place and realize the fucking hall of mirrors that I live in and how absurd <laughs> that I'm just explaining it correctly. <laughs> but none of this, I feel like it's gonna be a real eye opening trip for the two of you. And we can go get bagels. I think it's gonna be a great time. I'm so excited for what it eventually happens. It's, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. I appreciate Jeff thinking we need a week. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're going crabbing. Do right? you have That's any music? Do you have? Well, we might do a bathtub race depending on what time of year we go up there. Although That's I refuse fair. to step foot in Canada in June. That's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, are there any museums in, in on your island? Yeah, you can go to. Yeah, no, there's a museum. There is yeah. a museum. There's a few museums. Check I think. out the Maybe museum. Two. Maybe go to uh, learn about the Nanaimo Bar. <laughs> We oh uh, we can do uh, we can play What's tennis. That? You don't know the Nanaimo bar, Gavin? What's the Nanaimo bar? It's like the only thing that the place I live live in is known for. It's a dessert. It was it's called the Nanaimo bar. It's a, it's a it's a pastry type. It's uh you don't bake it. I don't think is what makes it unique. It's, it's like chocolate raw pastry. It's well, it's like a chocolate brownie type thing. It's like chocolate with a layer of icing. Um, oh, and then right, with, I'm into uh, it. I, I will get three of them. Yeah, one I of those. There's coconut. The traditional recipe is is walnuts in the bottom, but people also use coconut as a replacement. Oh, I mm. feel like I've had mm. that before. Yeah, I'm sure you have. It's it's the Nanaimo bar. It's all we have. <laughs> we have that in bathtub <laughs> racing. And Andrew Panton. And, and Andrew the Vancouver Pant. child that's, kicker. That's a name. Well, that's alleged. You know, we don't know who that is. We don't know where that belongs. Oof. Vancouver, technically, not even Nanaimo. It's a different place. Can't take credit on that. Oh, that does look yummy. Anything else? They're okay. I don't. I don't love them. Um, <laughs> hmm. Is there anything else we can do? What does Nanaimo have to offer? Can we can play oh, tennis? We, have, we can. Uh, yeah, we, we have that. that That's everywhere. Drill. We have a curling rink. You probably don't have one of those. Ooh. We'll go curling. I mean, isn't that just an ice rink though? Is that like a separate specific rink? Uh, it's just yeah. It's a different rink. You can't you can't just ice skate on the curling rink. So we have to do teams then. Yeah, I guess. So we who's would. on whose team? <sighs> Not it. I assume Eric and Nick are also coming. Not it. Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that you? You don't want to be on my team. <laughs> I need to review the video before I, I make any draft picks. I need to see the shovel work done by both of you to determine who I think would be the best on the field. Do you think shoveling skills translate to curling? I think because the broom, you got the person on the broom in the front. <laughs> broom isn't, you don't stab I'll, the ice with the broom. No, I'll but say, mechanically, they're very similar motions. What are you I'll talking about? I'll say this of Gavin's <laughs> shoveling skills, Andrew, if it helps. That video, uh, we had about an hour's worth of footage, raw footage. Gavin put all of his shoveling stuff in the video you saw. <laughs> that is bullshit. Aiden's shovel for one second longer than what you watched. You watched the entirety of his effort. All right, let's just see how the uh, the main <laughs> cut of this video turns out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I got all the footage. So <laughs> <laughs> 
I would say, yeah, it was mainly me filming. No, but I'm just I, kidding. You filmed a, you did a lot. In, probably put in like 20, 25% of the digging. You did two shifts. certainly broke the hammer. That was good. Yeah. I thought that hammer thing was such a good idea. <laughs> it was. It made great video. <laughs> oh. Can you send me that later, Gavin? That video? I just I just need to have it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be able to go back and watch it. Are you going to be watching that in bed tonight? Yeah, I will. I'll be laying down. You sent me a video once of um, your trash cans getting hit over and over again by different things. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a three, it was like a three act story of like your trash can got stolen and then you got a yeah. new one and then it, the garbage truck took it and then you got a new one and then somebody hit it with a car. And that is the <laughs> that video the that end. I just, yeah. yeah. It was, uh, well, that, that was, that's what doesn't really come across in the video is that when, and it's recycling, so it's every two weeks, when your recycling <laughs> gets eaten, <laughs> they don't bring another one until like the next cycle. So I'm missing a recycling. If I wait two weeks for one to come, I have it for a week, it gets swallowed again by the truck. I request another one. It, it, you know, we're talking like six weeks in at this point. I'm on my third bin. The neighbor steals it. I request another one. And then uh, finally, a car drives into it because um, my alcoholic neighbors w went for a drive. <laughs> I'm, a lot, I'm a lot faster at bringing them in now. You Ooh. live the real story of these people hate cans, but it's just everybody <laughs> and specifically yours. <laughs> it's just your can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you guys. This is a lot of fun. Oh, missed I'm excited you too, we man. get to do too. I missed you too. I missed all you guys. I'm excited to play Halo again too. We need to do that. We need to play games again. We need to, to record another episode. There's another thing we need to do. We should probably wrap up. Well, let's do that right now. On this one. Going to the well, there you go. You've gone and listened to um, that's my car talking. Uh, in the, <laughs> and listened to uh, wasted another hour uh, listening to uh, click and clack and, and Jeff and Gavin and uh, Eric and, and Nick and uh, oh Andrew. Uh, and uh, we sure hope you enjoyed it because we enjoyed catching up and, you know, uh, mixing it up a little bit, shooting the shit as it were. And uh, it, it, it was a good time. And uh, so if you thought it was a good time, why don't you go ahead and drop a little like down there or a, a plus one or a, 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 I don't know, a star, five stars out of five. There if, it's, if there are more options, put more stars. If it's 10 out of 10 stars, do the 10 stars. Uh, if it's on a hundred scale, give us, you don't have to give us a hundred, but give us like a 98 at least. Make us, <laughs> make us at least as good as a condom is uh, effective. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, Minor League Fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. It's episode 96 and the fridge strikes back. The boys go cup crazy. Gavin has a good cat back. Tommy Lee Jones is a Face fan. Jeff is ready to hit some balls. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs>